Hey everyone, this is Mike from Elite Auto Outlet in Bridgeport, Ohio. My phone number is 740-633-8888. What I got for you today is a rare find. This is a 1996 Buick Riviera. And uh, man, back in the day, back when I was in high school, I used to always want one of these cars. I thought these cars had the most beautiful lines that you could put on a vehicle at that time. The way the back swoops down to a point, just like the front swoops down to a point. Always wanted one. Never could find one nowadays that's in decent enough shape to say, hey, this is what I want, until I found this one. And man, this thing is beautiful. I've had a lot of people say it was a 95 just because of the, the bench seat, but no, it's a 96 that has the uh, three row seat in the front. So it doesn't have, it has the column shift, not the, the shifter on the floor. And uh, it is a supercharged model also because in 96 these came in two different models. You could have either uh, a 3800 series V6, which is GM's most adorable engine that they ever made or you get it with a 3800 series with the supercharger and that's the one we have here today and it is a really cool color too i mean this green is a is a is a really neat color in the light it changes from blue to green turquoise is kind of depending on how the light moves and uh, i'm gonna do a quick walk around on this vehicle it's got low miles too it's only got 86,000 miles it's extremely low for a 96 vehicle um so I'm gonna do a walk around, I'm gonna show you any imperfections that's on it, show you the inside, the inside's really sweet too. And uh, give you a better idea of the condition of the vehicle before you come and pick it up. Um, it does have Goodyear tires on it all the way around. These tires are old though, so they won't be needing to be replaced. They have a little bit of dry rotting on them, as you can see. Starting on the each side of the uh, walls and on the inside of the tire too. They all hold air fine. You know, they might be good for another thousand miles or so, but this cost the car to have just a little bit of a shimmy. Um, we got this thing, and I had to do a rack and pinion to it, because it did need a rack and pinion. Um, I think that's about it, though. Rack and pinion, checked all the fluids, um, did all that, because it did sit for a long time. And uh, that's about it. One of the cleanest examples of a Riviera I think I'm going to be able to find in, in this time now. But I'll show you any of the imperfections that's wrong with it. I mean, it's not perfect. As you can see, it's got rock chips all over the front of the hood. That's a little place right here where you got a little bit of fading in the paint from age. A little bit of fading on the hood. I mean, it's still got a nice shine, as you can see. You can still see the sky just fine. Um, headlights are in good shape. A little bit of discoloration in them. Nothing too crazy. The side of the thing is real good. We've got a couple little scratches right here on the mirror that I've noticed. The side of the body is good. No dents or things that I can see. Top of it too. Maybe some small imperfections, a couple light scratches. Nothing crazy though. Nothing like super faded or anything. Show the interior real quick on this side. The seats are nice and plushy. They're all worn out. The dash is all in good shape. It's another thing I'll tell you. It's a '96. Is it does have the cassette CD. Wheels are all in good shape. A little bit of oxidation. Got some checking here on the back of the hood, or the back of the deck lid, right there. A couple little scratches. Some checking in the headlights, or the tail lights. I'm sorry. That's if you really want to. Got some scratches on the bumper loading stuff in and out. Typical. And the worst of the bodywork I would say is right here where they touched a couple places up. You can see it's been 
touched up a little bit, some scratches. Right where you put the fuel in the door. And it's a couple, you know, various little scratches alongside. This is a little faded here. This thing's running right now, actually, too. It's that quiet. Windows have been tinted. That's about the only aftermarket thing I see. It does have a sunroof. This place, the door panel, we had to replace a door or a window regulator too. And uh, they had it taped off before for some reason. It was just a tape residue on it. It has the uh, concept sounds. I mean, look at that front seat. It barely has any wear in it. Back seat's like it's never been set in. It's got the power front seats. person was a smoker who owned it. Does not smell like smoke, but here's how you know. A little burn right there, and numerous little burns in the carpet there too. The carpets overall are in good shape though. I took the one out just so you could see underneath of it. Put it. These were actually the, the floor mats that were in the vehicle when I got it. So I'm gonna leave them in there. They did a good job protecting it all these, all these years. Um, let's see here. Lift down a little bit. You'll see that it has the steering wheel controls for your volume. It does have cruise control also. Um, yeah, 87,575 miles. No lights on the dash. It's got automatic climate control. Air conditioning does not work also. I don't know if it needs charged. I haven't even looked into it yet. Um, you got the concept sound and it has a little glitch where the tape sometimes it shows that there's tape in there which there's not um, radio does work good change the source let me see if it will eject the tape okay. let's figure out how to I'm going to turn it on Probably the best thing to do. So you can see that the uh, radio works good. Even the uh, dial there where you can press the volume on the controls. I love how it changes it. You know, top. Even the power antenna works, which is crazy on this thing. Um, well, the power antennas never make it very far. But I just always love the design of these vehicles. It's so comfortable going down the road, too. I mean, it just... It's really a luxury car of its time, for sure. That's why it was so much money when they were new, too. Let me show you under the hood real quick. We got one of the most dependable motors you can get. 3800 series, supercharged. And this is how it came. We really didn't clean it up or anything. Um, yeah. Quite a time capsule for sure. But if you have any questions, give me a call. My name is Mike. My phone number is 740-633-8888. Um, like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Haven't been on here in a while. we kind of hibernating for the winter. We're back at it. So I'm sure you'll see a lot more content coming out. So I want to thank everybody for watching. Have a good day.